Welcome, Fun and Draw fans! This is Mayu, and thank you for all of your likes, comments, and subscribes in my previous video. I really appreciate it. My next video is on Friday, January 5th. Mark it down on your calendars. Don't miss it because I know many of you find it interesting. Now I'll do a new opposite gender art challenge video to go along with these videos in the series. I chose these five characters in today's video, and uh, actually many of you have been asking me to draw them. Also, let's keep the fun and draw tradition alive, so let me know your name ideas for my gender bin reimaginings in the comments. How would Ray look like as a man? I try to keep my male Ray's hair very similar to hers, but with some, like, changes. It kind of reminds me of those tough warrior-type characters I've seen before in other shows, like Samurai Jack, with their hair just swept back in a ponytail. I also give my character some side fuzz on his jaw. I really wanted some kind of cool action pose for him, and decided to draw him with his staff. His far arm is lifting it from behind, and I didn't want to draw too much of it because I like the silhouette of the pose. Also, I modified the clothing a little so the fabric will look epic sweeping around him. Originally, I wanted to design him with his side showing, which I felt made him look more like an epic warrior. However, later I changed my mind and decided to give him a thin layer underneath. If you're a Star Wars fan, which movie do you love the most? At first, when I was sketching ideas out for Pennywise, I didn't really know how my drawing should look like. Like, would it be graceful? Cute? Still scary? There are lots of possibilities. Ugh, how is this gonna work? For my drawing, I decided to give her long flowing hair, but her face would still look kind of creepy with that big unsettling smile and the scary eyes. I also really liked how the outfit's frills were so big and poofy, so I decided to modify my drawing's collar area and then turn the pants into a big puffy skirt. I think it's a nice twist. If you've been following my art challenge videos where I reimagine characters, you've probably noticed that I always try to add a lot more than just like changing the face, for example. I always like to put a lot more into my drawings, like changing the dress or hairstyle or outfit or the face, if proper. And I always like to spend time to create these art challenges. Do you think it still looks scary? At the end, I have a special extra. I'll show you when I was down in Florida at Universal Studios and at Disney World, where I drew and met some of the characters.
So I'm gonna draw Natsu from Fairy Tale as a female. I like to change her hair a little, but still keep it similar to his. I made her hair softer and longer. Can't forget the fire. Actually, I've heard about Fairy Tale for a long time, but I haven't really watched it yet. I know many of you like it, and if you're a fan, let me know why you like it. And also, which other anime do you like to watch? I know there are so many good ones out there. I think the outfit worked well for a girl as well, so I didn't change it, like, mm, too much, except for the top. I decided to give her brighter pink hair, just for fun. I think she looks hot, and looks like she could be his long lost twin. I used to watch the cartoon show a lot when I was little. <sighs> Good old nostalgia. Let me know if you used to watch it too in your childhood. For this video, I went with the movie version of Beetlejuice, and I wanted my reimagined character to have a more graceful feel. For my Lady Beetlejuice, I wanted to have some fun with her hair, like, so I gave her wild big hair with lots of pieces pointing in different directions, but still with a sense of elegance. I spent some time to design her outfit, and I was thinking of either, like, pants for her or, I don't know, like a skirt or long stockings. Eventually, I decided on these boots and the skirt. I slimmed her black tie to make it look cute. I think her outfit looks interesting because it resembles the original, but it's also different. Love how cute she's sitting. Also stay tuned to the end of this video where you can see me draw and meet Beetlejuice at Universal Studios. Actually, right now, I'm thinking this makes a really good pair with my female Edward Scissorhands I did in my first gender bend video, and actually that one was one of my favorite reimagined characters. I think this one was one of the harder characters to reimagine and draw. In the beginning, I was thinking of how I would keep Buzz's big rugged jaw, 
But I also wanted my female bus to have a graceful look to her. Strong, but elegant. Also, what was I supposed to do with her hair, since I don't think Buzz shows his? I really don't remember seeing him with hair. Eventually, I decided on a cute, short hairstyle that hugs her face. Designing her body was challenging, but fun. I kept everything basically very similar, uh, but I really changed the shapes to show her feminine figure the way I imagined in my mind. I recently added some new Christmas and winter items to my fun to create game. I can't wait to see your new holiday creations. Start posting and sharing. I've featured some new funny creations from you fans on my website. If you want a chance to get yours on there, check out the details in my previous videos. And thank you for supporting this game by rating. I liked how I kept the face shape similar to his, but it still looks feminine. And I remember watching the first Toy Story movie when I was like a little kid and like just loving it. But I have to say, out of all three Toy Story movies, the third one is my favorite. Which one do you like the most? Oh, looks like female Buzz is ready for action. Well, that was a fun challenge. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, uh, now these are something I haven't shown you yet in my Travel with the Artist series. So, here I am at Universal Studios in Florida, and I'm gonna meet Beetlejuice. So I'm drawing him right now, while I'm in the lineup. I love it! <laughs> Disney World. Okay guys, so I'm in line right now to meet Buzz and Woody. First I'm gonna draw them and then I'm gonna show my drawings to them. I'm drawing as fast as I can uh, before it's my turn to meet them. Some of my collections are ending soon on my Zazzle store. Get what you really want while they're still available. I have a new football cat collection. You'll find my store links in the iCard and video description. Also, be sure to get my store specials. Treat yourself to over a thousand choices. Get something you really want. Happy shopping!